On the 3rd of August 1914, Germany declared war on France. Most thought it would be over quickly. It lasted four years. The city of Verdun is a potent symbol of the war to end all wars. It's engraved on France's collective memory. Verdun was the longest battle in history, the bloodiest of the Great War. Two million German shells bombarded the French in the first eight hours of battle. A deluge of 30 million shells rained down on the city in 300 days of fighting. Almost 800,000 soldiers on both sides were left dead, wounded or missing. Some have found their final resting place just nine kilometers from Verdun in Dourmont. We are at the ossuary in Douaumont Cemetery, which is 12 hectares and contains 15,000 bodies. All the crosses behind me represent an identified body. The ossuary was created in 1920, two years after the end of the Great War. Modern weaponry annihilated millions and the resulting trauma continues to resonate with people today. We've come here because this is a very sad and poignant part of France too. I mean, so you look around, there were so many young men died and one wonders sometimes whether it was all worthwhile. No? And Each one of them belonged to somebody. Each right. one was a son yeah. of somebody or yeah. a brother. And yeah. it's just staggering to see the numbers that mm. died. Mm. And you wonder if they made a difference. With their, their sacrifice. The names of the majority of the dead are unknown. Thousands of unidentified remains are kept in mass graves inside the ossuary. We're here inside the cloister, which is like the sheath of a sword thrust into the earth, a sign of eternal peace. The remains of 130,000 soldiers are kept here, in mass graves organized by the various fighting units. This way, families who never recovered the remains of their loved ones can pay their respects at the grave because they know which division they served in. And there are small windows on the outside which allow people to look into the mass grave for those who want to do so. The site includes a monument to foreign and Israeli volunteers who fought in the war. Recently, an area was created for the graves of Muslim soldiers. The 3,000 square meter plot revealed new human remains and some 300 shells, a century after the battle.